friends welcome back I'm sitting here being surprised again by another Gretsch guitar everyone that comes in regardless of the price point has something unique surprising uh, and every price range just delivers value that I'm really not seeing from many other brands this is the, I have to look at my notes here, the G2655T P90 Streamliner, center block junior, double cut P90 with Bigsby. Now, Gretsch, I love you. I love your guitars. But can we do something about the names? Can you just call it Fred or, or something? Um, okay, well, let's get into this. This is another guitar in their mid-price line. It is a mahogany body, laminate, beautiful binding front and back around the body. Uh, it has a NATO neck, which uh, we talked about before in one of the Gretsch videos. It's referred to by some people as Eastern Mahogany. It's a very stable wood, feels great. Laurel fretboard on here, very well finished. I have several rosewood, several ebony fretboard guitars. This this will stand up to the feel of any of them on the fretboard. Medium jumbo frets on a 12 inch radius and again very nicely finished, polished, no fret ends that are an issue. They're just putting great quality into these guitars and I know this is right around a $600 price guitar. It has also a spruce center block in here so it is not a full hollow body but it's got a lot of the acoustic properties. When we get into the clean sound you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, a licensed Bigsby B50 tremolo system on here. The adjustomatic bridge, very nice. Just everything on this guitar to look at it physically. The spring on the Bigsby is set just right. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. Other than that, it's got the typical Gretsch control configuration on here that it took me a little bit to get used to it, but now I'm really liking it. You have a volume control for the neck pickup the bridge pickup, a master tone control, and then the master volume control that's up here on the horn. And I really like the concept behind it because when you're in the middle position with both pickups active, you can dial in the exact amount. <laughs> of the two pickups that you would like to hear. Adjust the tone, and then have a master volume that controls that volume. It's really very simple and very easy to get used to. And it's just a very cool implementation if you're playing styles of music where this middle position is something that you'll go to on these guitars. But I'm digging it. The tuners on here, um, they appear to be just, you know, the, the stock Gretsch tuners. I, they feel very nice. Haven't had any issues with this. I've been playing on it for a while. Really liking it. But let me cut to the chase. The reason I really like this guitar so much is the pickups on here. 
even though in the name it just says P90, this is a new Gretsch conception called the Fidelisonic 90. And it is a single coil, large bobbin, you know, bar magnet underneath the coil, very much constructed like a P90. But you just take a listen to this. That's a bridge pickup with the tone full up on here. It's it has a great attack quality to it, and the highs are not overbearing. And it, you know, I'll give you a shot of the controls I've got back here. Basically, I, I've got everything set on our Mesa Fillmore between 12 and 1 o'clock, so I'm not hyping the sound back here. If you like a classic P90 for the aggressive sound that you can get out of it, this takes it in a different direction. Um, it's a very unique sounding pickup, and to find something that is this different and this usable in a guitar of this price point. Because I am not one of those guys who wants every guitar to sound like a Les Paul or a Strat. I like variation in what I've got, and this is extremely appealing to me. It's just such a well-balanced and smooth sound for a bridge P90. Uh, the bass is nice and round on it, and the treble is nice and round on it. It's extremely clear. It doesn't get fuzzy like a lot of some brands P90s do. Just really dig it. I'll go through the clean tones here really quickly for you. Um, and then we'll get into some heavy stuff, and it's a little bit surprising there, too. Okay, um, you were hearing a little bit on the bridge pickup here. That's my one touch of the Bigsby for the video. That is just a gorgeous sound. Um, go up to the neck pickup on here. I did it twice, but it's got the sonic qualities that I like in P90s, but doesn't have anything, that, any of the qualities I don't like about P90s. And of course, in the middle, the blend of both of them. I'm just going to keep everything up full on here. That's really digging this thing. Okay, now, 
P90s, you know, if you're associating it more with a heavier type of sound, it's going to give you that too, but very different than what you generally get out of a P90. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of gain through the Fillmore back here, and I'm just on the crunch channel. I'm not maxing it out. And by the way, these are, I would say, I think we're looking at about an uh, eight kilo ohm DC resistance on the bridge pickup and about seven and a half on the neck. So you're in the range of just basic output of a vintage style PAF humbucker. So as far as the way it's going to hit the front of the amp, it's going to be very similar to that. But uh, let's go to the bridge pickup here. <laughs> It's full and it's smooth and it's got some rippage to it. If you know what I'm talking about, you can dig in. It's got the aggression you're looking for, but it is not like stabbing yourself in the eye. It's the, the highs and lows are both smooth and tight. I'm ju I just can't get over that enough. Now, um, up to the neck pickup. <laughs> Okay, now I, I haven't done this yet quickly just because I'm going on about this guitar. Let's see what it does on some high, high gain here. I'm going up to the highest gain channel on here. I'm going to stay on the bridge pickup. <laughs> push it a little bit more. I'll tell you exactly. $599.99. And with the scale down body, 14 inch wide body on here, this is just a fun guitar. And you, you heard the tones out of it. It's a no brainer. You should have this in your collection. And it's available here at moreguitars.com and more music in Evansville, Indiana. So if you've got questions about this guitar or any guitar, bass, amp, pedals, give the folks here at moreguitars.com a call or come by our store, visit us, more music in Evansville, Indiana. We would love to see you. The folks here are experts in every brand they sell. You're not going to find this kind of knowledge about gear anywhere else. Give them a call and get this into your hand. The Gretsch 2655T P90 Streamliner Center Block Junior Double Cut P90 with Bigsby. Or just ask for Fred. See you next time.